Number nine, letter A. A woman climbing the Washington Monument metabolizes six times 10 to the two kilojoules of food energy. If her efficiency is 18%, how much heat transfer occurs to the environment to keep her temperature constant? All right. So uh, check out number seven and eight. I go through a very detailed discussion in both cases. All right. Uh, so this will be six times 10. Well, let me just write it as 600. All right. So this is 600 uh, kilojoules of food energy that's being metabolized. Now, we spoke about at length that some of this energy being metabolized inside the body via your chemical processes, right, of glycolysis, Krebs cycle, electron transport chain, blah, 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 many other processes, um, uh, beta oxidation. Uh, these the, This energy that is being metabolized goes two places. Useful, goes for useful work, and then it also goes to heat loss to the environment, okay? You know that when you exercise, right, your body temperature goes up. Heat lost, okay? Or your body even, not even, your body temperature is being maintained all the time, right? You're always at around 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? So how does your body maintain that temperature? Think about that. If you're in a colder room, how does your body always maintain the same temperature? It's because your body is metabolizing stuff and you're always, you're always generating heat. There's always heat being generated inside the body and then that heat being generated inside the body is being lost, right, to the environment, okay? Um, anywho, uh, so what do we need to find? It says uh, 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 how much heat transfer, sorry. Okay, so how much heat transfer? So we went through this efficiency, like I was mentioning, check out those problems. This is where the formula comes from. We're going to talk about the power of useful work. Actually, in this particular case, we don't need to know power because they are talking just about energy, so they don't want to know energy per time. So we're just going to say the um, the work being done, the, the useful work, divided then by the uh, energy of metabolism, okay? So this is the total energy, so the energy of metabolism or the energy of, of the item that is being metabolized, but however you want to think about it. So uh, we need to find um, how much heat gets transferred, okay? So first thing we want to do is find out how much uh, useful work is being done, okay? They tell us that she is metabolizing this many or 600 kilo, uh, excuse me, 600, yeah, kilojoules of food energy, right? That's how much is being metabolized. So that's this value. And we know the efficiency, so we can find the useful work. So the useful work is equal to basically efficiency multiplied by the metabolism. I'll just label it as M. Okay, I just reworked the formula. So this is going to be 0.18. you got to convert that into a decimal. Metabolism is 600 kilojoules. And you can plug in kilojoules. That's not a problem here. So this is going to be 0.18 multiplied by 600, or 18% of 600 is approximately 108, 108 joules. This is the amount of useful work. Okay. So in 600 kilojoules of energy, right, that is being essentially in your body converted from food energy into now energy being able to do partially useful work and then some energy that's being lost to maintain also your body temperature, um, uh, 108 joules of that, 108 joules is being then used to do useful work. Then it asks us how much heat transfer occurs. Well, how do we find this heat transfer? What do you think? If, we, if 600 is being outputted into two places, right, and we know that one place has 108, what's the other? Right, simple. It's going to be just the subtraction, okay? So we're going to now take the Q and watch this. So it's basically Q will be equal to the internal energy minus the work, okay? So I've talked about this formula too, that you can use this thermodynamic formula. So this is 600 minus then 108, okay? Now, technically, 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 these should all be negative values and whatever, but the magnitude will be fine. So we're, we're okay here. So this is going to be 108. So the amount of heat being lost, okay, from her body is going to be 600 minus 108, and it's 492. So 492 uh, kilojoules. And that is the answer, right? Hopefully that makes sense here. Right, uh, it's very useful to think about a picture. I also have a formula over here, but remember the formula I use, and this is you got to take a look at number two. The formula I use is really change in 
uh, internal energy will be equal to the change in heat energy plus the change in the amount of work. I look at it as that way. I, and then I start plugging in the signs after the fact. All right. So just keep that in mind. All right. And then it says letter B, discuss the heat, discuss the amount of heat transfer found in A. Is it consistent with the fact that you quickly warm up when exercising? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I think that sounds good, right? That amount of energy, that's good enough. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, please remember to help us out and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take care.